Now imagine trying to print something like this, a small coil that's hollow on the inside. How would you do that? Now you could use your regular supports on the outside and then break them off, but how would you print and break off the supports on the inside of the coil where it's hollow? Well, that's where PVA, a water soluble material, comes into play. You can print it with the second extruder like another filament, but later douse it in warm water and work at it with some tools to remove it, especially from the inside of pieces. I designed this small coil in Fusion 360 and then imported the model into Shindo desktop software. In the software, I set my first cartridge to be the standard Shindo PLA, the red that I'm going to print the coil with. Pretty much stick to standard settings. But for the second cartridge, I want to set the profile for PVA or PVA plus material. And I'll take the default settings that they have for printing that support material. It's a natural colored filament. Now down here on the support tab at the bottom, we want our supports to be everywhere. And note on the right, we want to print our supports with cartridge 2, which is the PVA material. You can set different features of your supports on this tab. Now bed adhesion, we want a raft. But I have since learned that over here, you want to print your raft with cartridge 1, with the PLA material. You don't want to print your raft with the PVA material, it doesn't work well. So here's a preview of our sliced model and how it's going to print the layers. At the very bottom is our raft. That starts to build up. Now you get that first layer of the PVA and it just starts to print that little dot of the PLA red material there. All this is PVA. It's printing those supports in the other filament from the other extruder and it keeps bringing this PLA of the actual coil around here. And there we go. That's how it's going to print. And notice when we get up here to the top in, inside the coil, this hollow part, it's going to print that blue PVA support material inside that whole coil, the whole way through there. Before you can print PVA material, you have to purchase and install the optional PVA only nozzle. It should be installed in extruder or nozzle 2 position, replacing the one that's in there temporarily. And you do have to set the Z gap appropriately anytime you change a nozzle. Only print PVA material with the PVA nozzle. I send the model to the printer, and here are a few shots of progress along the way. Again, the white material is the PVA support material and the red is the PLA that I'm printing the actual coil in. Now this first print that I did, I didn't even use a wipe tower or prime pillar in the back. I've since learned that I should do that. It makes for a much nicer transition between the extruders and the nozzles and the materials, but this actually worked. This was my first experience with water soluble support material, PVA. So I dumped the model in the water here and let it sit there and watched it and nothing was happening. And then I thought I would agitate it a little bit. So I poked at it and nothing was happening. I wasn't sure what to expect. So I let it soak in the water for a while, possibly an hour. And I came back and went at it with the pliers here and it still wasn't as soft as I thought it should have been. It wasn't as pliable. And I might have gone and read up on it or something, but I realized I was using cold water right now or not very warm water. And it seemed that using warm water, not hot water, but, but water you can 
soak your hand in without hurting it. That's the best and that would make it work better. So I thought I would try that. So after soaking it for a short time in warmer water, water the temperature you could take a bath in, look, the stuff is just breaking free. The PVA is coming off very nicely. So you certainly want to use a warmer water when you're trying to remove these supports. Now, even with the warmer water, it took some amount of work to ream out the inside of this coil the whole way down here. I had to keep putting in water and using like a piece of flexible filament or something and just keep digging at it in there and flushing water in there and trying to get those PVA supports inside there to break away. But after working at it for a while, I was able to clear a path the whole way through the coil so the water will flow from one end to the other right through the coil. That means it's not blocked inside there. The second model I tested using the PVA support material was a chain link. This time I used the prime pillar in the back or the wipe tower. It was a much more delicate model. It seems to have come out cleaner because of the wipe tower. Here's the disposable prime pillar or wipe tower. And after soaking in warm water for a little bit, here's my chain link. I only did a few prints using the PVA plus support material, but it seemed to work very well. You need to use warm water to break it free. You need to make sure the head and the nozzle is appropriately Z-gapped before you start and only use the optional PVA nozzle when printing PVA material. Also using a wipe tower or prime pillar is recommended. But there are some models, like this one, where water soluble support material is a necessity and the 3 d Wax 2X seems to be up to the task.